Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to Princess Evangel W Happiness. Oh my gosh, this game finally came out. And if you guys recall the Evangel series, which, oh my gosh, I remember so much before. Oh my gosh, but anyways, this is the Steam version and we're just gonna go right in because, oh my gosh. It's a new Princess Evangel with nine new love stories. It includes the original common route and a route for all nine heroines. Hooray! All right, let's get right into it. Start. We played the original. I want to read the common route first. Takes the written. You know what? Just go no, because we have to. Chapter zero. <laughs> Thank, thank you. <gasps> Messiah. <gasps> Phew. I breathed into my hands. It was cold. Damn, it's cold out here. The sun had set and it was so cold I had a hard time believing that school was starting soon. Of course, the state of my wallet was probably affecting my perception of the weather. As was my lack of a place to go. Phew! This time I sighed. The full moon hung heavily over me. My name is Okonogi Masaya, and the code I felt ran deep. Ellipses. My story started the day before. Ah, I'm tired. Oh my gosh, things are coming back to me now, guys. Things are coming back to me. <gasps> As usual, I returned to my apartment after work. Even though I was home, there was nothing fun to do there but stare at my father's face. I was back in my hometown for the first time in a year. I thought about rounding up my friends for karaoke, but... I don't think I could see them now. Besides, I was broke. The apartment we were in now didn't require a finder's fee or security deposit, but we had to pay the first three months rent in advance. That had wiped out what little savings I had. But running away with nothing but the clothes on our backs definitely saved a lot on moving expenses. However, no matter how much you save, it costs money to start a new life. I had always been poor, but now I was on the verge of being penniless. I've only just started my job and I don't get paid until the 20th of next month? What was I going to do until then? My anxious thoughts swirled around in my head, but I forced myself to stop. It was pointless to focus on the negative. Fine, I'll just go to sleep. Possibly due to my numerous part-time jobs, I hadn't had any time to sleep lately. Even though one of my redeeming features had always been taking care of myself enough not to get sick. I mounted the old rusted stairs that felt like they would give way with every step. My old man and I were holed up in a room on the second floor. Oh my gosh, anyone remember this? Oh, things are coming back so much. I'm home. I guess he's not here. Those mob guys must have been back. Dad spent most of his time lazing around the house or fleeing from loan sharks. Ah, yes, the loan sharks. Of course, I told him get a job a number of times. When I did, he'd give me this strange little smile and say, Uh-huh. He was really hopeless. Hmm? I turned on the light. There was a scrap of paper and an envelope on the table. I wonder what this means, guys. I wonder what uh, our father left us. Was it money? Or was it death? I checked the paper first. It was my old man's handwriting written on dollar store memo paper. Of course. I let out his sight and threw the note in the trash can. Put my hand to my chest. Compared to the sadness I experienced when my mother left, all I could feel now was relief. I glanced around the room and noticed what few belongings my dad had were now gone. My old man really had left me. In any case, he had never contributed to our living expenses. Him being gone wasn't an issue. In fact, it might make things easier. What's his envelope? A farewell gift, huh? But I don't think he's got any money. And if he did, he wouldn't give it to me. There were two sheets of paper inside the envelope. As I expected, it wasn't a farewell gift at all. There was something written on them. I wondered why he'd kept this separate from the memo, though. ところで、父さんたちが抱えていた借金ですが… 
We owe. I'm pretty sure those debts are all yours. この機会にマサヤ君に一本化しておきました。What a deadbeat dad. I remember this. I was so boiled with anger that, oh my gosh, what a useless, hopeless deadbeat dad putting all this on me? Huh? Dolphu Shta Kami wa le no gokuaku gumi e no shomon des. Oh my gosh. Masaya kun ga nete iru aida ni boin wo oshite o kimashita. Tehe. Don't tee hee me. This is death. Masaya kun. よく寝ていたなきっとバイトの疲れが溜まっているんでしょうねバイトなんかはそこそこにして体には気をつけるんだぞお前の父さんよりおお、ノーエロードバスタード !1 year ago we left the town I lived in all my life! ドゥリーギガオカドゥルギガオカ Our family life had been falling apart for as long as I could remember! All because my father was a deadbeat! I know! I know! My mother had given up on him long ago, but didn't want to leave him until I'd reached a certain point in my life! Then on the evening of my 10th birthday, she brought me to the park and said, 母さんねお前が10歳になるまでは待とうと思っていたの For what? Oh. And... Oh. お母さんお母さん離婚を離婚の意味はわかるわね I sure do Yes? 10歳になればある程度の分別も身につくわ母さんマサヤには父さんと別れることも仕方のないことだと分かってほしかったのこんなのは親の勝手な言い草に過ぎないんでしょうけれど I shook my head even as a child I understood that my parents couldn't stay together anymore そうありがとう In the cold light of the street lamps, it seems she was smiling for the first time. And this is where we made our first error. Right now. Eh? きっと引き止められるに決まっているそしてあの人のペースに巻き込まれてしまう口のうまさに関しては天才的なんだから母さんねもう話し合いもしたくないの離婚届に判をついて置いておくわ行き先ももちろん知らせないマサヤが大人になった時はたまには顔を合わせるのもいいでしょうけれど当面はこれっきりさあ行きましょう荷物は少しずつまとめてあったのあの人が帰らないうちに出ていくわよ I'm not going え Mother's eyes opened wide as she looked at me To her it was as if her son had started speaking an alien language In my childish way I explained to her that I felt like I couldn't just abandon my father Are you serious, Messiah? Oh my god. Mom would be fine on her own, but Dad wouldn't. Well, that's his problem. That was the conclusion I'd reached, which was why I couldn't go along with my mother. Oh, and then you. And then now look at what he did. He transferred all of the debt to you. Mother was upset, and in the end, decides to cancel that day's flight. She spent some time trying to convince me, but in the end, she was the one who gave up. She left the house alone, promising to stay in contact with me. I could still clearly see the image of my mother walking off into the rainy night. In the end, my mom was right. I looked down at the crumpled paper in my hand. Now that I knew how the world worked, I realized Dad would have turned out this way whether I had been here or not. Exactly. But what am I going to do about this? 
My thumbprint was on the loan. The interest rate was 30% every 10 days. Holy bajibos! 30%. They papered like this and no legal merit, but I doubted that logic was going to appease these two. My father's one redeeming feature was what my mother once called his genius way of talking around people. He managed to hold off even the most fearsome of loan sharks with the most laid-back manner possible. Until last year, we had someone managed to keep up, but then the debts got too big and my old man broke under the pressure. And that's when we ran away. Damn, I should have just stayed in Thurugagalka. But then, a part of me still felt sorry for him. I had also just graduated from my old school. That sense of finality might have had some influence on my actions. I graduated, then fled to some unfamiliar land and enrolled in school there. I had started to think that the loan trucks had given up and we made, made a clean break when suddenly the local mafia came calling. How badly in debt did you get? I screamed at him, but my father just gave me that little smile and shook his head. Ha ha ha, he he tee he. Doera, Saiken ga watatta yo nanda yo. My father's skill as a hustler had just made the situation even worse. Unable to get around his scared way with words, the creditors had sold his loans to the mafia. And the force they used to collect our debt was on a completely different scale. My dad wheeled and dealed, but in the end he only bought us a year. And now we had once again returned to Surugagalka. I'm pretty sure the reason we're back here is because he wanted to transfer all of this BS to me. I was mad about the short notice as usual, but I couldn't say I wasn't glad to be going back home. I had just finished my first year at school, so it was a good time to transfer. The problem was that since he never earned any money, the loan wasn't going to just disappear. This time, I didn't even have a chance to catch my breath. A new creditor would come calling soon. That was the goons. The gooey goons. Or the gooey goobers. Ooh. Their efforts to collect were much more violent. I had known we couldn't keep up this life much longer, but still. I never thought it would end like this. Finally ready to abandon my own man. In my heart, he was no longer my father. From now on, I would just call him the bastard. But even so, what was I going to do? In the past, if a loan shark or mob guy approached me, I could point them at the bastard and that would be that. On the few occasions they'd gone after me, I could admit that the bastard still had still helped me out. But now that he was gone, I had to deal with it on my own this time. Me, an average student, unlike him, I knew I couldn't talk my way out of it like he could. What do I do? I sunk down onto the worn out tatami mat. I had to run away, but to where? I'd already spent all of the, my money on rent. Ah! Uh, I felt like all of my strength was leaving my body. Just then, there was a rapid knocking on the door. I felt my limp body tense up instantly. Oh God, it's the Mafia. The Mafias are after us. The, the, the Goon Squad is after us. Oh God. But anyways, I'm going to end the episode for the first episode of Princess Evangel W Happiness Theme Edition. I am so happy to come back into this game. You literally start new because I, I don't remember where I ended in this, but we... We literally are starting anew, and this is going to be super, super awesome. You guys can check out this game for yourself. The link is down below in the descriptions. And oh my gosh, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are excited for this game, guys. I really do hope you guys are excited for this because I am excited for it. So if you guys enjoyed this first episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!